Hi, I'm Nazif, and I will present you our work with Yitja Nazar, Maynard Miller, and Javier Serra. Here we explored high resolution violent transcription using weak labels. With high resolution, we mean 5.8 milliseconds in time and 10 cents in frequency. Such resolutions are needed for analyzing the performances of the fretless violin and consequently realistic synthesis of the violin music. With weak labels, we mean learning from unaligned pairs of YouTube recordings and the scores collected from the web. We need this because for the violin, unfortunately, we do not have such high quality data sets like the Maestro Piano data set. Now let's start with the architecture. We convert raw audio in 44 kilohertz into onset, offset, frame, and F0 representations using a combination of convolutional and conformer networks. First, we have to duplex CNNs, followed by multiple conformer blocks. Conformer is a state-of-the-art speech recognition model. It is essentially cascaded convolution and transformer layers and thus suitable for general audio processing, such as transcription. This architecture is followed by a two-stage post-processing, which converts these vector representations into MIDI events. First, we form the semitone level MIDI events from onsets, offsets, and frames. Then use these node boundaries to apply constraint pitch orbit decoding on the f matrix and deter the high resolution pitch bands. We train the model using a custom dataset that we also publicized with links. It consists of 120 scores and their 34 hour YouTube recordings. But the scores and performances actually come from different sources. So we took an expectation maximization approach to train a model using these audio score pairs. It consists of four stages. First, we generate some fuzzy labels by conventional audio score alignment. Second, train the network with these labels. Third, create finer alignments using the new model's features. And finally, train on this new data set until convergence. So it is like an old school HMM GMM rewired. We test this model on two proxy tasks, conventional semitone level transcription and pitch estimation, and on two data sets, URMP and Bach 10. We observed state-of-the-art performance compared to the existing generic models. Before finishing, I'd like to show some examples of how the model encodes the performance details inside the MIDI. Here you see a passage from the famous Paganini Caprice performed by three great violinists. But even these famous musicians disagree in their choice of the third intervals. Let's hear these subtle differences in the encoded MIDI. The details of other music traditions can also be preserved. Let's hear how this violin taxim in Kurdima Kamu was transcribed into MIDI. So that's it. Here we introduced a new violin transcription model and a large violin dataset with high resolution MIDI pitch bands. Thanks for listening.